Good morning. A few weeks ago, we had a spell of very cold weather, and I found myself confined to the house for an entire weekend. It was too cold to go outside. My kids were away. My husband had taken up permanent residence on the couch, and I had already exhausted my very short list of indoor hobbies. So I sat on the couch and pouted. I was bored, the kind of boredom that paints everything in negativity. At some point that weekend, I checked my email and was pleasantly surprised to receive an invitation to TED Talks. My husband congratulated me and asked what I would be speaking about. And to be honest with you, I couldn't remember. So upon checking my initial proposal, I realized that what I was to be speaking about today was the art of boredom. The irony did not escape me. Why is it so hard to be bored? In such busy lives that we lead nowadays, I feel like we so rarely have the opportunity to be bored. And it may in fact be a lost art amongst my generation of adults and in the kids that we are raising. I wonder if we're missing out on something. I'd like to share two quotes with you today about boredom. The first one says, kids need time to be bored. That's how creativity is born. This quote instantly brought me back to my childhood, a time when boredom was a hardcore reality. We didn't have YouTube. We weren't allowed to play on the internet. My mom certainly did not schedule play dates for us. She told us to go outside and don't come back until dinner time. And if we ever complained about being bored, she happily filled our time with chores. Research on boredom says that it is the mother of all creativity. Because in boredom, we turn inwards, don't we? We reflect, we listen to inner voice, we make meaning of the world around us. And when we re-engage with the outside world, it's with the possibility of imagining the futures that we've been dreaming about. My kids are never bored. But when I think about my childhood, I realize that maybe my mom was right, after all, as painstaking as that is for me to admit. Because when I was little, when my siblings and I were bored, we explored. We wrote plays and put on concerts and built tree forts. We exercised our minds and our bodies. When my kids are with me, they have my full attention. We're very busy. I rush them around to all their activities. We have many adventures together. But what I've realized is that when left to their own devices, they don't know how to entertain themselves. They're used to me organizing all the fun. And I'm starting to wonder if I've made an error in that. You might agree with me that kids these days are very scheduled. They're driven around to tutoring, music lessons, sports practices. They go on field trips and birthday parties and play dates. And while life is very exciting for them, I wonder if they could benefit from a little time in their day that's not scheduled. Some downtime for them to relax. And I wonder, I say this without judgment, for I'm speaking about me as well, but parents these days, in an effort to provide our kids with a multitude of experiences, maybe we've robbed them of the opportunity to be creative and imaginative. The second quote I'd like to share says, if there were a little more silence, if we all kept quiet, maybe we could understand something. The Dalai Lama refers to something similar when he speaks about meditation. He says that in silence, we get to know our souls. It's deep stuff, I know. But in silence, we listen to our inner voice. We get to know who we truly are. So maybe we could all benefit from a little bit of silence. Maybe in a moment of silence, a child will pick up some blocks, build a tower, discover that they're an architect. 
Maybe in a moment of boredom, a child picks up a guitar and discovers that they're an artist. I'm not saying that boredom is easy. In fact, it's really uncomfortable. But maybe as a society, we should learn to embrace boredom, to lean into that discomfort and see what transpires. I've made a choice for my family to have a little bit of boredom, to have some calm, some quiet, some time that's not scheduled. Together, we are learning to master the art of boredom. Thank you.